It's crunch time here on The Jump. The U.S. Women's National Team, a.k.a. the best team on earth, borrowed the Knicks championship parade route this morning in Manhattan. <laughs> Goodness, is this the closest Knicks fans get to a parade anytime soon? Absolutely. I just Ooh. want to shout out my girl Pino. This team is amazing. This is a whole story. There it is. Look at the post. Are you allowed to call oh, Pino? Is. To be fair, though, the thing I'm most concerned about with the Knicks this year is what's going on with Fizz. I really want to, I'm really interested to see how he handles this team. You talked about them walking off the court in a uh, summer league. I really want to see what he does now that he's got that second year with that. Was there a Knicks float with, like, the old champions there? Phil Jackson on the on the floor. There wasn't even color TV the last time these guys won the NBA title. Who cares? Uh, would they, Look, that's they, also where the Yankees go. Maybe somebody else will. Would a Nets you championship break? Free agent forward Marcus Morris had agreed to a two-year, $20 million deal with the Spurs, but Marcus, you reported his mind may have changed. What's going on here? More money, and I also hear that he quietly has a good connection uh, with Fisdale. Huh. Kind of through their times playing against each other. And uh, also in that meeting that they had, uh, he connected with them even more. You know, I, I get Marcus Morris's motivation here. He's got five million reasons to do it. Uh, it's, it's a bad look to back out of a deal. But how many power fours do the Knicks plan on signing this summer? <laughs> also, what's that say about the Spurs? Julius Randle, Taj Gibson. That's, That's money. That's great. Money, money. money. Yeah, I mean, uh, all right. The Warriors waved Sean Livingston yesterday, one of our favorite people in the league. Oh, yep, the Warriors make five straight finals appearances and won three titles in Oakland. Livingston's departure follows Andre Iguodala's trade to the Grizzlies. And, Mark, you spent a lot of time around this team. Are you worried at all about the Warriors' culture after losing these Man, vets from the locker room? They lose the Oakland culture. They lose a lot of the players. But essentially, the Warriors' culture starts with three guys. Mm -hmm. Curry, Clay, and Draymond. And until one of those three leaves, they're still the Warriors. Yeah, and those guys obviously were, were great vets, you know, leaders, all that sort of thing. But now the vets are the guys you just mentioned. And so it's on them to maintain and, and, and make sure that that culture continues. One thing about Sean Livingston, though, is he had such a devastating injury at the beginning of his career. Oh, fought his way back into the league. There. Century, yeah. And if, if he's done playing, you know what? He's still going to be with the Warriors. Yeah. In yeah. the front office. Right. Yeah. So he'll, but... Just as a person, as you're saying, you probably were there when he got hurt. One of the greatest people you ever met. And I think he had that enthusiasm of don't take anything for granted, right? Yeah. Because of he knows what happened to him early in his career because he had to fight for what he had in this league and to get back. I, I, and he I, was going to the arena, and his knee was like a grapefruit a lot of nights. I think he, he fought through more pain than people know. Mark, let me ask you this. I mean, what shocks me about the Warriors culture is like, hey, you, you got a great run out of this. You know, I think people always look at like, oh, the Warriors culture is going away. Like, what more can you ask for yeah. in this situation? You know, the Oakland era ended. I, I think if I'm a Warriors fan, it's a bummer. But, hey, that's the best run of basketball okay. I've seen in my life. You don't have to pay those ticket prices. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.